Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. And as usual, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, such a joy to come before you each and every day to sit and visit with you with your word in hand. Today, Lord, as we learn about Paul's words to the Galatian church, I pray that you will teach us by your Holy Spirit more about you and your ways and your Son, Jesus Christ. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. The title to today's lesson is So Soon Removed, and it's taken from Galatians chapter 1 and verse 6. After such a wonderful introduction to the churches in Galatia, which included Paul's authority given by God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, acknowledgement of his brethren, a greeting of grace and peace, and a presentation of the gospel of Jesus, we might be waiting with bated breath to see what Paul is going to share with these churches. However, when we read his words, we quickly realize that Paul is greatly concerned for the doctrine that's being believed by them. He begins his discussion in chapter 1 and verse 6 where we read, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Paul is amazed as he begins his words, I marvel. The word marvel means to wonder. As a father looking over his children, Paul wonders how these spiritual kids of his could be so soon removed from him that called. After Paul had presented the gospel of Jesus Christ, others moved in to change the very doctrine he espoused. People called Judaizers were prevalent in those days, and their doctrine included obedience to the law in addition to accepting Jesus Christ as Savior. Interestingly enough, those who choose to come against the gospel of Jesus Christ usually prey upon those within the churches to promote their teaching. Rather than go to the world, their efforts are to persuade church members that what they believe is inaccurate. And since most new believers are unfamiliar with the Holy Scriptures, they are often convinced. Satan himself is known to appear as an angel of light. And no doubt he has his hand in these false teachers' efforts. Paul's marvel is that these within the churches of Galatia have left the very God who called them. He said, remove from him that called you. It was God who called these believers in the first place. For no man can come to the Father except the Spirit draw him. And still they left the doctrines of God. How easily people have their beliefs altered when false doctrines come in. What has been established for years may be changed by one teaching that twists the words of the scripture to appeal to human reasoning. Often these words are accompanied by heightened emotional charge that seems to bring validity to the doctrine. And when audiences sway in the feelings of the moment, they alter not only their doctrine, but also their cognitive powers. Paul gently yet directly addresses the demagoguery of this way. Paul adds, into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. The wonder of Paul's day was much like today. Why is it that people are prone to believe teachings other than the grace of Christ so easily? It seems that unmerited favor just doesn't sound reasonable. And there seems to be a pressure to somehow earn salvation. Rather than trust in the completed works of Jesus Christ upon the cross for our sin nature, many think their good behavior will get them into heaven. The gospel means good news. It is good news that Jesus Christ has already paid for our sin. It is good news that there is nothing more that needs to be done to accomplish salvation. It is finished was the keynote phrase of Jesus as he died upon the cross. And when he gave his last breath, sin's price was paid. His substitutionary sacrifice for our sins was complete and nothing can be added to it. This is why Paul marveled at these members of the church of Galatia. How could they trade the gospel of Christ for another gospel? Well, 
we shall have to wait to our next verse to consider that question ourselves. Next time, we will discover more about these troublemakers to the gospel of Jesus Christ. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.